Hello everyone and welcome to the Nintendo News. I'm Aaron. I'm Kaden. And I'm Dylan. And today we're going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch. So let's get right into it. Mm -hmm. So I think we're probably going to be spending a couple videos on this uh, subject, talking about the console and the games and then probably some other like separate features as well, such as Amiibo. So I think we should probably start with the console. It's funny because when the trailer began, I thought that it was like a YouTube trailer because it was weird seeing like a street view. So if we take a look at the console itself, it it looks like it is a hybrid. Well, obviously it definitely is a hybrid. Definitely is a hybrid. With detachable little controller things, which comes in handy. And you can use it, it's like two separate controllers when you're playing multiplayer as well. Yeah, I don't think you'll be able to play more than two players on that tiny screen because one is tiny and two... Unless you could two. somehow connect the screens with each other through Bluetooth or, and, or like Wi-Fi. Yeah. And it also looks like there's a slot for you to put the handheld into the console, which is pretty handy. Yeah, I agree, but I'm just wondering, will we have to clip it in somehow, or like actually push it in, and is there going to be a button somewhere to like clip it out, to take it out for e easily? Yeah, because it could probably accidentally come out pretty uh, easily, because it doesn't look like it's supported by any like side, side walls. Yeah. Or, yeah. And it's also got a couple of USB ports on it, but that's not too important, really. No, it's just as expected with the console. Yep. But what is quite important is the new controller. The Not the uh, handheld, the one... Yeah, not the two different handhelds. The one that you put the two handhelds into, which creates something that looks similar to the gamepad, just a bit smaller. Yeah, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool. So it's got three different controllers. Yeah. I'm not that sure how it'll work, but will you have to get used to all three of the controllers, or...? No, yeah. because you'll have, like, depends that some games might have to use separate controllers. Yeah, because they've, they've all got very different s kind styles. of styles, yeah. At, when they're in the park, you can get a good shot of the um, gamepad, and on the top right of the controller, it looks like there's a wee D-pad on it, which is really small, but I'm wondering how easy it will be to use. It looks like the plus, and then if you look on the left, there's a, Just a minus. minus. Yeah. So maybe that's a plus and minus Ooh, button. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. what that will be. That's that I also noticed that at the bottom of the gamepad thingy, there's two little... You keep calling um, the gamepad. There's, this, <laughs> there's two um, little slot what? things that kind of stick out. Maybe that's what helps it to click in when it's actually going into the... The gamepad. The, the um, device, device thing, itself. Yeah. And if we look at the uh, the the left side of the handheld thing, the left just below the left D pad, there's a little square thing that could maybe be a camera. Mm. Maybe. I, oh, I just realised that D pad's got little arrows on it, like the Nintendo sixty four controller, kinda of yellow. Yeah. yeah, and the other side's got the proper A, B, X and Y. Yeah, I thought they both had A, B, X and Y, but yeah, different. But yeah, that square could maybe be a camera. Yeah, maybe like maybe to record face cams or Something Skype, like that. maybe? maybe. Also, Did we um, have Skype? I'm not that sure. Yeah, There's know. also, you can see, just about the two back buttons. And later on in the video, you can also see the two bumper buttons at the back of the controller. Yeah, so it's like a sort of normal controller, apart with a big screen in the middle, just like the Wii U. And on the, on the, uh, you know, the handheld controller thing, the frame rate looks a bit, it looks a bit sort of blocky. I don't know. It may just be blocky, for, I don't think It may right. just be for that one part, but maybe it's just because it's on the go and they're it's trying to play powerful games on just a handheld. Yeah, that might be a problem. It might be a bit, you know, a bit sort of eh, eh, slow. slow. There we go. At the airport, you can see that it has actual cartridges you put into the gamepad itself. So that rumor was true. Yeah. So it looks like it will be running on the same type of things the DS and the 2DS and 3DS used. Except with more graphical power. So we yeah. don't know if there's going to be discs. There probably won't be if we've just seen a cartridge. So will it be backwards compatible with the Wii U? Yeah, but we saw, well, later on in the video, you also see two games. I'm not going to mention them right now, but they're from the Wii U. So don't. are they remakes or are they, like, you know, ports? We're not sure yet. It's also got a stand as well, not which, too big, but... Yeah, yeah, which you can also see when he goes on the airplane when he puts down the little table. Yeah, we kind of started going through the trailer, sort of, you know, yeah, no taking it off. Yeah. With the gamepad, you can play it on the go, both with the um, two separate controllers on it and off of it. So you can play like games like maybe Mario Kart with the motion control of the controllers, which I guess they will probably have. And you can also play it attached, so you can play different games, which will be easier like that. Yeah, what do we think about the battery life? Like, do you know, do you think it'll be... Well, 
in the video he shows him going on to the plane and then coming into the taxi so and he's still got battery life in the thing so yeah if we take a look after they showed off Skyrim which is pretty big it's pretty yeah. exciting but more on that later uh, we can see the sort of pro controller yep yeah, which looks pretty cool. Uh, it looks, looks very similar to an Xbox One controller, especially the way the thumbsticks are laid out. Yeah, just really. So, and also the sticks themselves look pretty similar, like sort of yeah. like with the bumper bit above, sort of with a thicker bit above them. What we also noticed is that there's four buttons on like the up middle, the upper middle of the controller. There's two circles, one square, and another small circle. Which we don't really know what these are. We think for, two yeah. of them will be the plus and the minus. Yeah. Maybe one of them will be the home button, and who knows what the other one could be. Maybe a feature to record something. We yeah, this or the square one, because there's a square one on the other mini can yeah. the handheld ones as well. So maybe it's another camera. Although that looks like another button. What yeah. I think is that the bigger ones are plus and minus. Are plus and minus. Yes, agreed. The square is like record, like how you can do it on the Xbox One and PS Four, like a record a clip, like a gameplay clip. Yeah. And then like, oh no, like, sorry, the, the smaller circle will be to start the clip and then the square will be to Stop end the clip. It. This guy doesn't seem to keep his controller very clean. I know, it's like covered in marks and spots and stuff, it's weird. If you take a look at the scene in the car, they both have a controller from each side of the screen. So they're both playing the game at the same time using the two of the controllers. Yeah, sorry, multiplayer. I d th this reminds me of an, uh, m uh, what, Wii Party U, when you could play some games. Like, um, one person would take like the side with the... Uh, the sort of the thumbstick and the D-pad, and the other person would take the sides with the thumbstick and the and, and the buttons, and you could play like table football and stuff, and some of the games in Wii Party. You if you take another look at the car scene, you can see like a stick holding up the, um, the controller thing, and I wonder if that'll be set be like separate or if that'll come with like this console. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, apparently, there's a rumor that um the deluxe version of the console was supposed to be uh, four hundred dollars. And the uh, sort of normal the version will be around three hundred dollars. And I'm pretty sure you can uh, connect two of them together to have like local multiplayer, like you see when they're playing, uh, MB, uh, some kind of MB. basketball game. Yeah, which would be pretty cool, you know. And uh, how many would you be able to connect though? I would say only two or three, maybe well, four at the maximum. It would only. I reckon it would only put two or four. At the scene when the ga the girl is playing a game, that you can also see on the little controller that there is a home button. And yeah. you can also see there's like green, there's a green button and four other three other buttons with it that was like on the bottom of the Wii controller. Like sorry, the ch that I think that might be like a charger. I was gonna say charge, but like would one mean that it's fully charged? So like would on the on charge? the Wii controller it told told you what player you were. Yeah, but then they're both one. Maybe that just means that they're both on. But then why is there yeah. four? But then when you take it off, it tells you that it's not. That it switches to. Number two, but in number four, does that not mean that it can be got to four players? Maybe, but then why are there two different sets of them then? I don't know. And if you look in the scene when they're planning out tactics for a game they're playing, you can see that four of the uh, handheld things are connected to each other, so it does seem you can connect at least four to each other. And also, you can see there's a. It looks like a camera or something. What, this little button here? That thing, yeah, that looks That's like a camera. That's the home button. And if you get to the bit where the professional players are playing, the, it looks like you can have an eight-player local multiplayer match between eight people. And if we take a look at the scene with the professional gamers, when they switch out with the controller with the screen on it for the pro controller, we can see a little green light to the bottom. Does that mean, like, you know, that's, like, player one, or is that, like, another charging thing, maybe? Like, with the little side controller things which connect to the controller with the screen? So many controllers. I'm not too sure what that is. What do you think? I think it's just probably something that measures its charge. It just goes down as it gets less charge. Yeah. Yeah. And there's also, um, in the scene, we can see what those four buttons are on the Pro Controller. There's a minus, a plus, a home... The two big ones are the minus and plus. There's a home button, and the other one, the squared button, is still quite blurry, and we can't really make out what that actually I is. I don't actually think it has anything on it, but I don't think uh, we really know what it is. It, it looks like a little circle. Yeah, it looks it. like a circle, that's what I was going to say. But we don't know what it does yet. And yeah, it does show a little bit later on that that button is just a button with a, squ a circle, a square with a circle on it. So it could be anything really. It could yeah. be a record, you know. Now I'm pretty sure that the um, 
the NX was supposed to have, or sorry, Nintendo Switch, I keep calling it the NX, was supposed to have VR. Yeah, I've heard about that. I thought, I thought that it got a, I thought that that's why the console got pushed back to March, but don't quote me on that, I'm not too sure. Maybe that'll be shown at a later date, but so far we haven't heard anything official about it yet. Yeah, and it is coming in March 2017, not a... Not this Christmas, which is a bit sad. So I think that's everything. I think we've covered everything. Yeah. And as we said, I think we'll cover uh, games in the next video. Yeah. And then probably after that, some bonus things. So, yeah. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.